Wow, this looks really, really good. It really looks good. So the latest and the last Rogue One trailer dropped a couple hours ago and my word, it looks absolutely awesome. So first, I just want to say this film looks incredible. The way it's shot, the cinematography of it, it just looks absolutely amazing. It's really great seeing some of the classic Star Wars elements coming back, such as the Stormtroopers, the Death Star, the X-Wing fighters and just everything. Like it really does look like it's taking place before A New Hope, which is awesome. Another thing this trailer did was introduce us to a lot more of the storyline than what we had initially gotten in the last couple of trailers. From this trailer, we now understand that Jen Urso's father, played by Mads Mikkelsen, was heavily involved in the construction and the planning of the Death Star. So that's very interesting because we hadn't gotten that before. And there's definitely some flashback sequences in this trailer. We see Janus as a child and she looks like she's hiding from the, the Death Troopers on a planet which looks incredibly close to Iceland. Just on a side note, I really want to go to Iceland and all these movies keep putting Iceland in their movies. But Iceland looks incredible in this film, just saying. So from that flashback sequence in the trailer and then also some narration throughout the trailer, we understand that Jen Ursa doesn't really have a father at the moment or she doesn't know where her father has gone. So now that's going to be a huge part of the film is her trying to find her father and then from there trying to stop the Death Star. That's a very interesting premise. There's now a family aspect to this and now we also understand that Jen Ursa's father was most likely involved with the construction of this Death Star. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out in the film and it's made me even more excited for the film. We also get a lot more of the team dynamic in this trailer which is really cool. We see more Forrest Whitaker in this trailer and he looks amazing. And then I was very surprised at the amount of Darth Vader they showed in this trailer because again it's like I counted two scenes, I've only seen the trailer twice, but I counted two scenes of Darth Vader. And this was their last trailer, so I thought they were going to have a huge presence of Darth Vader in this trailer, but they didn't. But I'm totally fine with that, to be honest. I cannot wait for this film, guys. This looks absolutely amazing. This trailer was incredible. My favourite part of the trailer was definitely just the way this film looks. You can see it's taking elements from the original trilogy, even the way it's shot, but it's also adding a whole lot of newer elements into it, and it looks absolutely incredible. You're just really in awe of what you're seeing from just the cinematography alone and from just the trailer. Imagine how it's going to be in the cinema on a huge screen. So those are my thoughts on the Rogue One trailer, the last and final Rogue One trailer. Yeah, it was awesome. I really, really loved it. Let me know what you guys thought of the trailer in the comments down below. I really like hearing when a Star Wars trailer makes a casual Star Wars fan really excited. Because obviously the diehard fans are usually going to love them. Then I've also got two more episodes of Luke Cage. Then I promised to get a review for that out. Then I also still need to do a review for Stranger Things, which I haven't forgotten about yet. And then funny story, I've had shot a complete review for The Blair Witch last week, Thursday, I think. And then once I, when I put it all on my computer and I was about to start editing it, I realized the whole thing was out of focus. So I'm sorry that's taken so long. I'll definitely have that out soon as well. I know I don't need to say, I just need to film it again. And remember, if you guys want to keep up to date with movie news and my reviews, check me out on my various social media platforms to stay updated with that. But again, thanks so much for watching this, guys. I'll see you guys next time.